Hi guys, so we are looking at some spittle. My screen is really bad, so I can't tell how well this is coming out. But we are doing our Organism of the Week video today, and we're looking at some spittle from a spittle bug. So, inside the spittle, there is a baby. Um, I don't know if it's showing up or not, because they're pretty small. But hopefully you can see it. It's sort of brownish, greenish. I don't know if I can see it or not. Let's see if I can get it on my finger. There it is. I don't know how well it's in focus. But that's the little bug. I'm going to put it back on the plant. Because these guys dry out, dry out pretty quickly. That's what they look like. Come here, bud. Anyway, inside that foam, there is a bug. And it's not spit. It's not dangerous. It's actually plant sap. They feed on the plants itself. And that was just the baby. They stay hidden inside that foam. And it hides them from predators. It protects them from temperatures. And without that spittle, the baby would dry up. There are 23,000 species of spittle bugs. Eggs are laid in late summer on vegetation until they hatch out in the spring where they climb up the plants and feed. These are members of the Hymenoptera um, order of insects. They really don't do much damage to the plant itself, except in extreme conditions. Um, they can, in rare instances, do damage to the plants. These guys are also, they come out and emerge. The adults will emerge in the end of May into June. But ours still seem to be pretty much babies. So anyway... Um, that is my introduction to you on Spittlebugs. Until next time, talk to you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully, um, I'll show you a couple more plants that are cut that have Spittlebugs on them. There's another one here. There you can see some more of the spittle as well as over here. Hopefully you can see that. But yeah, it's not dangerous, just a part of nature. Thank you.